In a world of convenience stores, megaplexes, and electronic commerce, modern society's relationship with the air, land, and water, vital to our very survival, often seems removed and intangible. But for many Native American cultures, the natural world is still held in reverence and recognizes integral to their very being. Even in today's changing world, these cultures routinely depend on the earth to provide subsistence for their families, creating a more personal relationship with nature, one based on respect and balanced on faith. For the Yurok tribe of California, this balance resonates back for countless generations. Unlike many other tribes, the Yurok were never forced to relocate from much of their native territory and still inhabit the homeland of their ancestors. Along California's northern coast and upstream from the mouth of the state's second largest river, the Klamath. The Klamath River is extremely important to the Yurok people um, as we are a fishing tribe and we depend very heavily on the resources of the river, including um, spring and fall Chinook, steelhead, sturgeon. As a people, we depend on the Klamath River not only for a food source but for a spiritual well-being and it's extremely important to us as a people um, for both of those reasons. For thousands of years and hundreds of generations, the Yurok people have depended on the Klamath River and the annual harvest of migrating fish, particularly salmon. The river is inseparably tied to their culture. Homes and villages are situated near the water and many of the Yurok's religious ceremonies revolve around the river and its bounty. Although the bond between the Yurok and the Klamath has ancient roots, the river is still susceptible to the same ecological threats facing the rest of today's world. The Yurok realize this and have created strong environmental programs to protect and manage these resources. The Yurok Tribe's Department of Fisheries helps to regulate and evaluate the Klamath and its aquatic life from the Pacific Ocean, upstream 40 miles to the reservation boundary. The staff of 60 scientists and technicians monitor water quantity and quality in the river and its tributaries, along with regulating the tribe's annual allotment of harvestable fish. The department also collects data on juvenile and adult fish as they migrate up and down the watershed throughout their life cycle. That is pretty clean. Under one day, I'll clean this last night. The impact that non-human life, like marine mammals, makes on the Klamath fish is also studied as part of a total ecosystem assessment program. Naturally, any threat to the quality of the river's water is considered a threat to the Yurok way of life. 